How the fox are you doing? I got a one very excited video for you. Now, it's not sponsored. <laughs> I didn't get this from Grizzly. I pretty much as soon as I heard about it, I ordered one because I'm very excited about what kind of project it could be. This could be a game changer for a lot of, you know, knife makers, people that are thinking about getting into knives or as a hobby or sharpening or getting, because you're getting a tiltable, flippable, tiltable, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there you go. Grinder with variable speed control, three quarters of a horsepower motor for 360 bucks essentially shipped. And that's only because the shipping itself is 60 bucks, 70 bucks. But the grinder itself is 300 bucks. They have some sales on it for 269.96. So <laughs> it's a hell of a deal. Couple downsides, that's why I say it's a project, but for like basic sharpening and several stuff, it could work perfectly fine just out of the box. One thing first for me, this is made for two by 42 belts, but all it takes is this single bar that holds the flat platen. If you change it to the longer bar, you just move the whole platen forward, you know, to the right distance. So it's gonna be two by 72, that's number one. Number two is what I'm planning to do. Instead of just extending this bar, you see this plate here? This is the same principle as any other belt grinder there is, except they have these spacers bigger. They have them two inch or one and a half inch, depending on the brand you get. So this isn't a bar, but it's a square tube or square, you know, square aluminum thing or steel thing that goes there. So all you need to do is unscrew this, put the right barrels there or, you know, spacers, screw it back together with wrong screws. And you can use, I can use my, my flat plier, my uh, eight inch wheel, 10 inch wheel from the grinders I already have. But <laughs> all this for a fraction of the cost. And Grizzly, I have actually really good experience with Grizzly. I mean, they've been being abused and holding together those mills. Plus, I gotta mention, I forgot to mention in the video previously, remember that all 2x72 Grizzly grinder that I had, you know, like 15 years ago? So that thing, pretty much when I moved to Florida almost 10 years ago right now, pretty much, I think it actually is 10 years, that thing went to the shed, to the outdoor shed on the floor that actually flooded, flooded once in a while when we, when we had the heavy rains after the hurricanes. It was sitting there for 10 years in the floor. We were doing some cleaning. I had to move the shed recently. I pulled it out. I plugged it in and that thing actually still works. It's mind boggling. I, you had to spin the wheel a little bit to like kind of start the motor, but it actually still works, which is, it's, it's insane, I think. So <laughs> I like this. I mean, it can go really slow, really fast. I think it says, what does it say? It says, 100 to 5,000 RPM, the motor. It's gotta be a different system because this is a very small motor for a three quarter horsepower. I have three quarter horsepower motors on my grinders, regular single phase, it's different. So that whole thing, this isn't the, your typical variable speed that you have on the grinders and that's not your typical motor you have on your grinders. So I'm actually really curious. But even just these ch chassis alone, you know, because I don't actually care for this much. None of my grinders are variable speeds anymore because I keep killing everything with the amount of water I use. So I actually went with just a single phase, slower speed motors on my grinders. And once I do this, man, this is gonna be really nice little machines for really cheap to get pretty much any job imaginable for me as a knife maker. Comes with these little tourists that can flip all the different directions, very simple, these clamps are those typical clamps that you can tighten it. And if you need to get to the right spot, you lift it, you can turn it, and then you keep tightening it or loosening. So pretty nice stuff here. Pretty nice stuff. The tracking works fine. I, I cannot wait to, you know, turn this into like a real serious knife making grinder for super, super cheap. Hope you enjoyed it, folks.